Every day we are bombarded by environmental agents that damage our cells. Things like UV radiation and chemical exposure such as air pollution and cigarette smoke. Even the byproducts of metabolism, such as free radicals, can damage cells. These damaging agents can make changes to the DNA in our cells. DNA encodes the information needed to make proteins, which are the building blocks of our body. To keep two metres of DNA organised within the nucleus, it is wound around special structures called histones, much like thread on a spool. Damage to DNA can include single-strand breaks, double-strand breaks, changes to the DNA code, DNA kinks, and DNA sticking together. It has been estimated that an individual cell can suffer up to one million DNA changes per day. A special sentinel protein called P53 is recruited rapidly in response to DNA damage. P53 slides along the DNA until it finds a critical site. It then binds to this site. P53 then sends the message to halt cell division until DNA is repaired, or if damage is too severe, the cell is destroyed. P53 is therefore known as the guardian of the genome. If the DNA damage is able to be repaired, a very complex and highly regulated sequence of events follows which is orchestrated by three main molecular machines. This is machine number one, which is searching for a broken DNA end. Once it has found a broken end, Machine 1 activates this molecule. Once active, the molecule participates in a series of interactions leading to machine number 2. Here it is again, this time activating another molecule. This is machine two, assembling into its active form. Machine two builds a chain to link to machine three. Here is machine three, which has also built a chain. The final molecule in this repair complex, BRCA1, forms from two identical halves, which come together and bind. BRCA1 then begins the recruitment of further complexes that carry out the actual DNA repair. After a long chain of events not shown here, the DNA is finally repaired.